Welcome back to our 12th episode of For the Elephant. Now, you might have noticed that each of our conversations build on what we've discussed in previous episodes. So if this is your first time tuning in, we thank you and we appreciate you investing your time with us. And we encourage you to check out our previous episodes as you just might find some additional inspiration that leads you to make a few positive changes that help you advance your personal and professional lives. You know, you might even have a few of those aha moments that helps you infuse your work or life with honor, truth, love, and even courage. And speaking of courage, in this episode, we're going to discuss how important it is to find that courage to grow in both the short term and the long term. We talk about mental strength and moral strength, two very important components of courage. And we talk about our risk barometer. Is embracing courage in certain moments worth it? Or is it just too great and we pack it away for another day? So now, Leanne is going to find the courage to engage with us on this conversation and help us help you evaluate your own risk barometer. And we'll also have a few laughs along the way. Well, hello, we are back with For the Elevate. And uh, we are talking in about an important topic today that uh, requires a little bit of bravery. Maybe that's a different word than actual courage, but we're talking about courage today. Courage in all areas of our life. How would you like to kick this one off? Kathy Scott, Ooh. I'll pass the ball to you. That takes courage. <laughs> um, so yeah, we, we often talk about how changing the way we live and lead is tough. Um, and requires some practicing and some new skills, but it definitely requires courage along the way. And we, you know, it's important to point out that courage is not the same as no fear. Mm. Um, it's really having that uh, mental strength, moral strength to try it, to work it, to keep at it. And um, even when you're facing fear and danger and difficulty, you keep at it. And that's what we're defining as courage. I love it. Yeah, I think that's a great definition uh, um, and how to look at it. And, and I think people have to remember that it's okay to celebrate those small acts of courage along the way. It doesn't have to be something huge uh, because how we each define courage to ourselves um, it can really be, you know, maybe it's just a, a general fear you have getting up, embracing the day without, you know, being in a bad mood, uh, you know, whatever that may be, whatever gives you that courage, I think you need to celebrate that. Take a moment and do that every day. Yes, absolutely. In fact, I think it was, I think it was John Wayne who said, courage is feeling the fear and saddling up anyway. Yes. Ooh, <laughs> well, saddle yeah. up. Whether or not he actually said it, I think he did. It's on a mug with a picture of him and it's in quotation marks. So really anyone could have said it, but his picture is beside it, but I like it. And to your point, Bridget, I think, I think you're absolutely right. I remember a time in my life when it took a lot of courage for me to go into a restaurant and have a meal by myself. Mm -hmm. I remember that. And that those are the little steps. Now I prefer it, but (laughs) peace and quiet is a, is a, yes. Yeah. But those little things take a lot of courage. Yeah. Do you think they it's do. based somewhat on, uh, do you think that courage or the fear that we feel is based on what ifs more than anything? Or uh, where do you think that comes from? Well, I think we all have this risk barometer mm. and we're always sort of evaluating a situation and determining is it worth speaking up is it worth stepping out or is the risk too great and we often um pull back um because we're thinking about the short-term risk when we should be thinking about the longer-term value that that whatever it is will will do um, so I, I like thinking about it in terms of short term and long term and kind of having a conversation with ourselves. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think that's so important. I mean, and, and I would say that's kind of get out of your head, right? Because we can so get in there and have multiple conversations and it just becomes overwhelming. And the more you can compartmentalize it into that short term, long term, it really is beneficial and you can find your way 
you know, moving forward rather than just staying stuck in one place. Do you think it's helpful to um, ask yourself what's the worst that can happen or is that going to get you in a, or is that going to make things worse? Actually, I do that all the time. Oh, I, yeah? I, it, it's helpful for me. I just think, all right, and what's the worst that can happen? And then I realize that won't kill me. Um, nice. And and so combining that with thinking longer term, shorter term, but you know, we live in the society where, you know, we're pretty afraid to speak up. We don't have a lot of psychological safety anymore. True. I mean, even just using the right words or wrong words can change a, a situation. So um, I, I think it's really, we want to look good to others. We've got to overcome that. And, and it's, it's really an important um, shift in the way we live our life. Well, and I think we as women quite often oh, get caught up in that imposter syndrome. Hmm. We don't feel that we're worthy of or that we are meant to be at the table or, you know, call it what, call it whatever you want to call it. But um, and then we do get into our head about that. And it does cause us to not take the risks that would really help us grow. And um, I think that's where getting with a friend, you know, a buddy, a mentor, uh, as we've talked about before, can be very, very helpful because they can also help give you that that little push, that little bit of courage that you need. Yeah, and it's ironic that, uh, or not, maybe not ironic, or maybe it is. Uh, oh, the irony. So, the, you know, we, we're afraid to speak up because of how we might be judged. And then when we do speak up, generally the response in most cases is respect or it's received better than what we think it's going to be received in most cases. Wouldn't you agree with that? Or no? Uh, I think so. If, if depending on how you present it, uh, but nice. people want to see authenticity. People yeah. really want to, um, and they want to be a part of something important. So just living the politically correct life is, is wearing and um, doesn't really get you anywhere. So when you're being courageous about a purpose or something meaningful to you. I think people really resonate with that. Yeah, I, I think that's so important. And again, it's, it is in how you deliver it. So if you're delivering it with respect, um, you know, even if it is emotional, something emotional can be delivered very respectfully and it will be received that way. So um, I think it's really important to do that. Uh, would either of you like to share a personal story of courage, something to illustrate this? Um, in a way. Wow. Well, I'm, I'm dealing with something actually this week. There's, there's a huge project that um, I've been asked to uh, help lead and um, very interested in the project and thinking of it as something very transformational. And uh, when we spoke to the people about it after putting together a big proposal, it's like, no, we really want transactional. We don't really want all this. And so now I'm, we're grappling with, do we want to do this? Mm. And um, it's going to take some courage to either walk away or say, here's, here's our bottom line as to why this is important and why we need to approach it in a certain way. So I think that takes some courage and uh, it's um, it's also our reputations at stake, et cetera. So I don't know, those come up all the time though in small and large ways. And, and, uh, and fortunately, you know, I can reach out for support and say, this is making me really nervous. Talk to me about this. So, yeah. 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 And I can, um, I think one of the things that we did uh, together, Kathy and I did together that took a lot of courage was to write this, this book that, you know, mm -hmm. um, so uh, stupid gone viral. So I think putting anything out there like that really makes you very vulnerable. Um, and because it is leadership based, uh, the good thing is it was also evidence based. So it wasn't just our opinions. However, when you put something out there for the public like that to see, boy, you're really you're really opening yourselves up to the negative and the positive. And you have to be willing to accept all that feedback. And that can be pretty scary. I remember the first time that we it launched, 
I was like, oh my God, what are people going to say about it? Now it was great. It turned out wonderfully, but you know, it's that anxiety. But if we hadn't taken the risk, if we hadn't had that journey to write that book, um, we wouldn't have, we, we grew together, um, on that journey as well. But uh, I think that took a lot of courage because it's not just sitting down writing, you know, penning your thoughts, as you know, I mean, you've written a book, so, um, it takes a lot of courage to do that. Yeah. It well, does. And we, we challenged the status quo throughout the book. So, um, you know, sorry if we hurt your feelings, but evidence <laughs> tells us what you're doing isn't working. Right. And then to do that and share our own personal stories or experiences, uh, some of which were things we did really stupid and some of which were things that we did well. Um, and it, yeah, that was risky. I was, I was pretty nervous about it. And I'd always written kind of peer reviewed journal articles. So this was a huge shift and, uh, and I'm really happy that we did it. We've, we've learned a ton and had a lot of opportunities as a result. Well, I'm happy you did it too. It's a great book. Well, thank you. But Absolutely. here's the funny one. I, I can tell you when I was younger and I was playing piano a lot and I had a ton of recitals to go to, it made me absolutely crazy. And I needed to get much braver going out on stage. And, but what I would do every time beforehand, I would, I literally, and you hear these stories quite often. And it is true. I would throw up and, and then I would go out and I would, I would play and I was fine. But I had to get that out before I went out there. But I knew that um, it was meant to be. I needed to be out on that stage and playing. And it was important for me. So whatever the tool was to get me out there, even if it was throwing up, I was going to do it. So a different kind of courage, but yeah. I got to get there. So. That's, that's great. What a great story. And really, even if you don't get the outcome that you expected to get, you do get an outcome because I think, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that every time you push yourself to do something like that, it preps you for the next thing. It's like, oh, I did it. I did that. Maybe I can do this. I didn't now. die. I didn't <laughs> die. Oh my God. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's so important. Uh, absolutely. It, and it, you can actually sort of keep momentum going and develop habits of, I'm going to try this. I'm going to, maybe it's a baby step, but um, I'm, I'm going to put this out there and see what happens and just kind of build momentum around that. Yeah, that's good. And yeah. it's worth it. I mean, the journey is worth it because yeah. you are going to learn something about yourself along that journey, no matter what. Um, it may be that you're not really good at something. It may be that you're phenomenal at something, or it may be that, you know what, I really didn't like that. And I don't ever want to do that again. Yeah. Um, I hate Excel spreadsheets. I don't ever want to do that. I don't, I don't want to learn that again. You know, whatever it may be, but you, you've you taken it and made it a real learning moment. Yeah. And then eventually over time, it certainly doesn't happen overnight, but I, I found in my own experience that eventually over time, the, how much you care about other people's responses and how much you care about what you're going to gain from it, that the scales tip at some point and you just, you know, it's like, I'm going to do this. I'm just going to do it. Um, and it does oh, take time, yeah. but it, yeah, yeah, it does. It shifts. So if for no other reason, do it for the L of it. That's what I say that, you know, courage right there. Am I right? I want to share one thought on this. Please. It's, a, it's a quote from a Marianne Radmaker, who's an author and an artist. And I really like this. Um, courage doesn't always roar. Sometimes courage is a silent voice at the end of the day that says, I will try again tomorrow. Nice. That's perfect. perfect. Yeah, love it. I like it. Spray paint that across the wall. And no, I'm just kidding. All right. Next that time was, we're going to see that, Leanna. A t shirt or a screensaver. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Fantastic. All right. Well, thank you so much. And please have the courage to come back and see us next time. <laughs> this was such a great conversation and one that I think all of us can relate. You know, courage manifests itself in many ways. And Courage is certainly a very personal journey. You know, you can even laugh on that journey to courageousness. So with that in mind, it's time for our titter time, which as a reminder is how we conclude our chats and find that one quote to help lighten the load of an otherwise heavy day. So here we go. I know every day is a gift, but where are the receipts for Mondays? You may want to return it for another Friday. 
So, no author's been attributed to this one, but who hasn't wished they could return a Monday, at least every once in a while? I know I have. So to conclude this episode, please don't forget to leave us comments. Let us know if this discussion helped you think about courage a little differently. Can you begin rising up and embracing your courage? What makes you want to take that risk? How comfortable are you with that risk? Can others help you on the journey? Well, you know the three of us are here for you and are always happy to help. You're part of this community, so reach out and let us know what you might need. And until next time, keep moving towards that healthier you. Do it for the elephant.